My stuff from Timu finally came. We're gonna unbox it now. I'm really excited. There's a little bit of a hole in here, so I'm just gonna go with that. Okay, I don't even remember what I wrote. Oh, this is a little like purse bag. How cute. Purse bag. Oh, it's so cute. Opens with a button. It's a little like wonky, but that's okay. This is the strap. It's so fun. Okay, cool. Wow. Oh, this is heavy. This is the fanny pack, okay. It feels like that cheap leather that you get when you go to like downtown LA and you buy stuff. This is it. It says fashion bags and leather. I'm gonna definitely cover this up here. Zipper works nice. Okay, here's the other strap. Hello there. Seems roomy, definitely smells funny. And you've got this cool chain on the front to make you look cool. Uh-oh, so these are tight. You just have to use a little force, I guess. Okay, so this obviously needs to be made smaller so it can be like this. And then it comes with this little guy. Great success. I guess, is that how it goes? That's kind of weird. <laughs> kind of cool. I'm definitely gonna cover up where it says fashion and bags leather, because that's kind of weird to me, but I think this is a cool bag for like summer shopping. I don't know about this thing either. This might go inside, I don't know. Next we've got a clip. Okay, this is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if this is gonna hold my hair. I mean, it looks nice. It's just like really small but really pretty color. Ooh, a ring. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, let's see. It's, oh yeah, it does. Very pretty. It sparkles. Looks real. It doesn't look real. I don't know why I said it looks real. It doesn't. Okay, what are these? I think these are all the same. I hate styrofoam. Hello? Oh, it's flat. It's, oh, 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 I remember. Okay. Why does he have polka dots on his butt? He has little um, dots on his booty. How cute is that as a little like decor piece? I definitely thought they were bigger. Not like super big, but I thought they were larger than that. Okay, um, I'm dying. How cute is that guy? Oh, I have a little balloon family. Oh, the pink's cute too. Okay, totally cute. Obviously I got colors to match my branding because I knew I was gonna put them in here. This one's a little bit damaged on the little body part, so I'll just have to put it this way. But look at how stinking cute these are okay i love them you're going up in my little cabin all the little dogs love that oh this is i think like a supposed to be like a desk mat and it's like mouse pad material the print is good from far <laughs> but it's kind of blurry in person but actually it looks pretty good kind of pretty very good size i like the floral not mad about that Next. Oh, we got another ring. Ooh, this is like, I think this was supposed to be like a diamond engagement ring. It doesn't look like a diamond. It looks like a purple stone, which is fine because I don't need an engagement ring at this time. There it is. It also comes with the wedding band. <laughs> so you could do this. And look great. I mean, from far away, looks like it just looks like a really like poor quality or poor like clarity or color because it's purple or like a periwinkle blue okay we've got another ring 
I think I got this one to wear on my index finger like that. Next, we've got another hair clip. This is a little heart one, also very small, but still cute. Definitely wouldn't hold all of my hair up, but might be cute for like a half up, half down kind of deal. It's cute because it's a little heart. Moving right along. Oh, I got this phone case. Looks cool from far away, but doesn't really look that high quality up close. I don't know what I expected. I think it was like a dollar or something, but I guess kind of cool if I want to change my phone case. Oh, I got these for when I make freshies, these little molds. Little cacti, cactuses. I think those would be really cute little freshies, even for just like testers. Or you could obviously bake cake or whatever in them too, or use them for chocolate. I think they are advertised as chocolate molds. So those are cool. Oh, I got these cute little, I'm like remembering everything I ordered as I look at it and open it. <laughs> these are paper clips, but they have little hearts in them. Oh, and I got this little box cutter. I always see the girlies on TikTok using, using these little box cutters when they're doing their like aesthetic videos. <laughs> so I ordered one too, but this one was like a dollar or something or 69 cents. But it's a little flower. What is this? This says silver 10 centimeters. Don't know what it is, but I'm going to use my fun new box cutter to open it. Test it out, see how it works. One thing that I like and don't like already about this is that in order to get the blade to come up, you have to push this. But if you let go of that, it doesn't stay. So when you're cutting things open, you have to keep holding this up, which is good for safety, but also kind of annoying. Oh, it's a disco ball. My little planter. How cute is that? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, where am I gonna hang this? Up there in that corner for sure. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. How cute! Okay, love that. Cute little bird case. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's hair ties. Okay, cool. Bunch of clear hair ties. Love those because I think that I am a good hairstylist. So I like to use little elastics when I do my things. Oh, these are Halloween stickers I bought for a project I'm working on. I'm glad they came in time. They're just all different kind of like potion-y type things. Perfect. I ordered some craft knives. I'm excited to try those, always using craft knives. Oh, I got a lot of jewelry. It's all underneath here. Okay, let's see. Oh, how freaking cute are those? Cowgirl earrings. I don't ever wear statement earrings. I always wear the same little like hoops, but sometimes I feel the desire to wear like statement earrings. But I don't ever want to spend too much money on them because I don't wear them that often. How cute are those? Like for a country concert, I might just build my whole outfit around these earrings. This is kind of interesting. I think if I saw this in a store, I would never pick it up or buy it. I think this must have looked different in the listing photo. But it's a little flower claw clip. I just feel like Maybe it would look cool, like with your hair back, like to the side. I guess it's not that weird looking. It just looks weird like this, but when it's like in your hair, interesting though. Very interesting choice, Mal. Okay, this one I'm excited about. This claw clip is the right size. It's the size I expected, very nice quality, and I love the checkerboard right now. So there's that. Yep, strong springs and will look cool in your hair. Okay, yeah, love that. We'll do the rest of the jewelry first. Oh, this is a keychain. <laughs> a hotel key keychain. Says Shady Pines Retirement Home. Oh. Then we've got another ring. I got this one in a bigger size so I could wear it on my thumb. Very thin, dainty thumb ring. I really like the way it looks. Next we got this necklace. 
I love lightning bolts. Weird statement on its own. I saw this turquoise lightning bolt necklace and thought I had to buy it. Very cool. That'll be fun to wear. Maybe layered with other necklaces. I like that. Oh, speaking of layered. This, I'm pretty sure is multiple. No, it's just one necklace. No, it's multiple necklaces. This is one set. <laughs> These all have separate things, which I like because if you don't like one piece, you can just take it off. Sometimes with layered necklaces, I like to change them. Come on. So we've got this just very simple chain, which would look really cute actually, layered with the bolts. That would be really cute. Okay, I like that together. I'm gonna just keep that together. And then you've got this, which is Elizabeth, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth, big chain. This one that's by itself, a chunkier chain that's got two little charms on it as well. So you could layer these together and have kind of like a fun, busy, chunky necklace situation. Or you could wear them all by themselves if you wanted to. I really don't love spending a lot of money on jewelry. So finding places like this where you can get like cheap costume jewelry is great because one, I lose stuff all the time. Two, I don't wear jewelry that often. I like to wear rings a lot, but that's for the most part what I wear. I very rarely wear bracelets because I always have my spy watch on. So I feel like just too much if I wear a lot of bracelets. If I can find necklaces that I can wear like a couple times or if I lose them or if they break, it's not a big deal. I like that. I don't like to spend a lot of money on jewelry. So this is great. Okay, here's another ring. I bought a lot of rings because that's what I wear. <laughs> this one is similar to this other one. I think it's actually the same ring. I just got different colors and sizes. So this is the one for my index finger. And then this one I got smaller to wear on my ring finger. So this one's got gold in it. And then this one is just all silver. So I would not wear those together. I just got the same thing to wear for different, different occasions. And then we've got another chain. Deal, oh no. That's the other thing about buying cheap stuff is that you have to do stuff like this. This, this is all one necklace. So you can't break this apart if you wanted to. It's three big chains at two small chains. So it would be really cute to layer like, to make it more dressy, to make casual stuff more dressy. Like, I just envision this with like a crew neck sweatshirt, wearing this, and then you kind of like look like a little more dressed up, I don't know. Or you could wear it with something more dressy, but it just reads like casual style to me. Okay, this is a three, three, three necklace. Three is my lucky number. It's my favorite number. It's my like angel sign, I think from my grandpa too. So anytime I see threes or ones or threes and ones in combination, I always know that that's a sign from my grandpa. So I bought the 333 angel necklace. And I feel like this is gonna be one that I wear all the time just because that's, hopefully it doesn't like turn my neck green or anything, but I'm gonna put it on and we'll see. Oh no. Okay. So there it is on, kind of nice. Oh, this isn't jewelry. These are clear post-it notes <laughs> or clear sticky notes. I don't love that everything comes in plastic. I know that's like the name of the game, but I don't love that. Okay, so clear. Those are fun. I think these might be dry erase. I don't know if you could write with a regular pen on these. Oh, we've got some little bottles, precision tip glue bottles. I'm always using those for crafting, so we'll keep those aside. Another fanny pack. This also smells like Santee Alley, if you guys have ever been to Santee Alley in Los Angeles. This is definitely just like a utility, like you just bring it with you and you don't care what happens to it kind of thing. It's got a front pocket, a smaller pocket that would probably fit just like your chapstick or change or something, and then the big pocket. Zippers seem like they probably won't last that long. <laughs> but here we go. Oh, this is as long as it goes. It's not adjustable. It won't go any bigger than what it is now. Oh, yes, it will. I'm done. Lordy lemon. So it will go bigger. 
There we go. So this would be a cool thing to take to like, I don't know, you could take on vacation and leave it there if you don't care about it. I don't know. Sometimes you just want stuff that's like inexpensive that you can just bring with you on a trip or like on something where you don't know if it's gonna break or like, I don't know. This seems like one of those things. Definitely not the highest of quality, but we'll for sure do the job. These are like microfiber makeup remover towels. Oh, it comes with a lot. I thought it only came with like one. It comes with three. They definitely need to be washed. They smell. You get a yellow one. Yeah, they smell. Pink. Very nice. And wow. green. Now, I don't think I'm gonna use these to remove my makeup. I will probably keep them in my car to like use to dry my car off when I wash it. They're pretty big, but I'm definitely gonna wash them first. Okay, I'm excited about this. This is a pillow. A flower pillow. It's really small. It doesn't look the way it did in the picture. This, These kind of look more like fingers than petals. It's cute though. Like a cute little, I don't know. If anything, you could just sit on it. It's got like kind of like a cording cord pattern on there. But there it is. Kind of lumpy. Like I feel like it needs to be like, you know, really worked out and like kind of broken in almost. Cute enough. What's in the box? Oh, this is a, a, a vase or like a pot. A vase. Wow, it arrived in very good shape. Love that. Very nice. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. That's gonna go, I think, in my bedroom. Maybe my bathroom, we'll see. Really pretty, that feels really nice. I am happy with that, for sure. Okay, and then finally, we've got three items of clothing. I'm a little nervous about these, because you never know with clothes and stuff like this. This is a bodysuit. That's definitely not gonna work out. Very thin. Can you see my face through here? Embarrassing. Like you can read my shirt. So definitely could be used probably as like an under layer at the very bottom if you're layering in the winter, but not to be worn alone. Nay, nay, nay. Okay, this is a crop shocket. I love a shocket, as we know. This is so thin, but that's okay. I expected it to be thin because it was so inexpensive. Also smells, needs to be washed. Yeah, I like it. Okay, very cute. I All of my shackets are very like oversized, slouchy, just like big and comfy. So I wanted to get this cropped one to make it, you know, if I wanted to wear it with loose jeans or something, to have kind of like a cute little, you know, with a white shirt or whatever under. Okay, happy with that. Definitely smells, needs to be washed. Now this thing, I don't remember buying. Maybe I bought it just to try. I'm not sure but it's overalls, a dress. Is this gonna fit me? Absolutely not. There's no way, it's so short. Not a chance. Not a chance in HE double hockey sticks. So that's that. Ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will probably order from Timu in the future, but for little things that I don't about. I think it's definitely a hit or miss type of situation. Things like cheap jewelry, you know, those kinds of little things that you are going to use for a short time. For things like that, I think it's definitely well worth it. For clothing or high quality items, I would recommend shopping elsewhere. I'd recommend, you know, supporting small businesses and yeah. But for little cheap things that you are either going to use a couple times or that you don't care about losing or, you know, that you just don't want to spend money on, I think it's totally worth it and a good option for you. Some of my favorite things. Let's see. Definitely am surprised by the quality of this. These are very expensive in places I've seen. So this seems like it's really good quality for the price I paid. I think this was seven or eight dollars maybe. So that's worth it to me. I really like the costume jewelry. I think that's really fun. This claw clip is my favorite of the ones that I've gotten because it's actually the size that I expected it to be. And it seems like pretty good solid quality. Really like the cowgirl earrings. These are really fun and something that 
I would not want to spend like $25 to $30 on in a boutique or something. So those are really good. And I think that's it for my favorites. Oh, the disco ball plant hanger for sure. Love that. And the checkerboard purse that we opened in the very beginning. I really like that too. I think that's really different and fun and something I haven't seen in a lot of places. So overall, I'm happy with my purchase. I think that for what I paid and what I got, I am pleasantly surprised. So it is hit or miss. I would recommend it for some things and not others. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. If there are any things that you have found on the website, let me know. If there's anything I need to check out, be sure to tell me in the comments. And if you like videos like this, let me know that as well. I'm always happy to unbox or try new brands and new things. So let me know down below. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you very soon. Okay, bye.